So I'm standing here with Ryan Kukoyo, one of our new signings this year, uh, in ahead of the season in Division Three. Uh, Ryan, could you please tell us a bit about your footballing career? Uh, well, I'm 19 years old, uh, played pretty much all my life. Um, but last two years I've been playing adult football and I think it's definitely the way forward, playing adult football. Um, I'm just trying to challenge myself and that's why I thought I'd come to Sweden, challenge myself and see how far I can progress. So, so you actually had a spell in, in Växjö last year. Uh, and now you play as a central midfielder. Did you do that in, in Växjö as well? Uh, no, I joined towards the end of the season um, and they already had an established midfield. So I was playing uh, left back for most of the time, occasionally getting into midfield, but uh, most of the time playing left back uh, or centre back if you, in a few occasions. Uh, yeah. Okay, if you see um, uh, or coach Halimi sees us playing football, uh, is that completely different what we've been used to before? Uh, no, for me it's not completely different. Um, I've always been the type to play football with the ball on the floor, uh, everyone getting touches of the ball, progressive football. Uh, so for me, this isn't much, much different. Um, and it's my style of football and it's perfect for me, really. Uh, great, great style. Uh, brings the best out of all of our players um, and gives us the maximum opportunity of winning. So yeah, so it's a, it's a great system and I love the, the style of play. Sounds very good. Um, you know, we've been here a little over a month and you've done a handful of uh, pre-season games. Uh, so what do you think about the team so far? Yeah, I think it's good. It's uh, been improving every week, which I think is the most important thing, especially in the build-up to the new season. Uh, so as long as we keep improving, keep playing well, and we I don't think we've lost yet. Oh, we lost one game. Uh, that was <laughs> unlucky. Uh, however, but we've, we've been playing well. We've been dominating games. And defensively, we haven't been conceding many goals. Uh, so there's many, many, many positives uh, we can bring out of all of these games. Uh, and we'll keep on improving, keep on working hard every day in training. And, uh, yeah, it's looking very promising. Uh, from what we've seen so far, you're definitely starting... 11 material, so to speak. Uh, what would you say you can contribute to to the team? Uh, well, I think my main strength is uh, just be as a central midfielder, being able to control the tempo off the uh, off the game, um, just playing in one or two touches, playing short, playing long. Uh, so as, as well as being able to control the tempo of the game, hopefully defensively, uh, being able to destroy attacks, uh, cover the defence, but also link the play between the defence and the uh, midfield and the attack. Uh, apart from the preseason games, you've also done a, a couple of uh, games with the, the AFC Eskilstuna under-21 team. What have you learned from them? Uh, well, it's been a great experience playing with uh, professional footballers. Um, and just the, 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 learning, the thing I've learned mainly is just about like, the tempo and the, uh, the quality and what's required and what's expected of you as a young professional footballer or a professional footballer uh, about the, the work rate, um, about what's, what's required of you on the pitch, about the different instructions and different for, um, style of plays and formations. Uh, so it's been a it's been a really good experience being able to play with the under 21 team here at RFC um, and hopefully get a few more experiences like that. Hopefully, uh, what would be your, your personal goals with the football? What will be the reward for you if so for all the time you spent uh, playing? Uh, well, this season with uh, City. Say overall. Well, overall, hopefully, I uh, hope to make it professional footballer. Um, that's my main goal. Uh, Champions League, World Cup. <laughs> that's that's uh, what I aim for. Um, looking at uh, today's sort of lineup we have, uh, is there? What would you say is uh, the strengths and weaknesses of of the, of the team right now? What we need to work on ahead of the uh, season opener? Uh, well, strengths definitely. I think our defence. Uh, we've been conceding very few goals, as I said before, uh, and our defensive formation and our shape is very good. We we restrict space, uh, especially in behind uh, and down the middle of the pitch. Uh, so that's definitely a positive um, and a weakness. Um, um, maybe just scoring a few more goals. I know last game we scored four, but um, if we could just commit a few, men more, a few more men forward uh, and when we're in the final third, have a bit more patience um, and just try and really create good chances instead of chances out of luck, if that makes sense. I like the way you hesitated on the, on the weaknesses, <laughs> trying to find one. Um, if I ask you, artificial grass or... Uh, 
natural grass? What do you prefer? Oh, a good grass pitch you can't beat. But um, yeah, AstroTurf for all rounds, I think, is artificial pitch, yeah. But a good grass pitch you can't beat a good grass pitch. <laughs> um, the Swedes love the Premier League. Um, <laughs> Uh, if, uh, last question, what is your favourite team in the Premier League? Well, I'm a Man United fan. Um, I know people will laugh, judging by my Mancunian accent, <laughs> and I'm from London. Uh, but yeah, I've supported Man United all my life and will forever support them. Yeah. Um, I think that's, that's about it. And I'd like to wish you good luck in the, in the, in the coming season and uh, keep on training. <laughs> Thanks, Mika.